Joyce Barton here, and I'm sitting here on the docks in Fort Lauderdale just um, a few minutes before my interview with Glenn Gerbino, and he's going to share with us his insights and his life history and stories on being in the restaurant business. So I'm really looking forward to this interview, and stay tuned. Welcome to Food with Joy, where we feed your mind, body, and soul so that you can live a happy, healthy, and sexy life. My name is Joyce Barton, and I'm here today with Glenn Gerbino. Gerbino. He has to help me pronounce his last name. <laughs> um, so nice to have met you. Uh, we just met and found that we have something in common together from our lives and our careers that we were both in the restaurant business together. So uh, Glenn, if you would just take a few minutes and tell the viewers a little bit about what it was like to be in the restaurant business. Well, I started out when I was young. My grandfather put an apron on me when I was five, and he had an Italian and pizza restaurant in Ontario, California, and it got in the blood. It was in the family. In high school, I worked for a cousin. He had a sub shop in Boston. I went out to college in Los Angeles and stayed working part-time in the restaurant business while I went to school. And when I got out, my first job was with a 24-7 restaurant chain called Sambo's. Okay. They're not around anymore, but this restaurant chain didn't have a lock on the front door. And so you were always open. Well, I, I had already been in the business for several years, and I just grew to love it. I worked in casinos, I worked in nightclubs, I worked for hotels, I worked fast food to fine dining. Yeah. Well, I remember the 24-7 <laughs> scene of always being open in three shifts, right? Did you work in shifts? Yes, and yeah. I was managing a Sambo's in a little town called Del Mar, California. Okay. And Beautiful. immigration used to come by and sweep up my whole kitchen line <laughs> and take them back over the border. <laughs> and all my cooks would come in two hours later soaking wet. Wow. Well, you had different challenges in yes. California. Yes. <laughs> but I'd be cooking online for a couple of hours, enjoying myself. And then I've just always enjoyed the interaction with people, feeding them, making them happy, giving them great service. And isn't that the way to people's soul, through their heart, is through their stomach, right? I, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, I come from a, 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 a Sicilian excuse me, family okay. where eating is a big part of life. Yes. And it's always fresh food. And it's loud. It's loud, it's fresh, and there okay. are multiple courses. Okay, yeah, all right. And, and everybody's it, invited. Is this in the family or in the restaurant? Well, my family is all in the restaurant business. Okay. Some people are butchers, some people sell fruits, some people have restaurants, some have sub shops. But no matter where you go, there are lots of people, and it's very loud. And everybody's having that's a good fun. time. They're, they're living life fully, in other words. Yeah. They are. Yeah, that's my <laughs> motto, live life fully. So, yeah, and that's just, you know, where the passion of being involved with people and making them happy. I well, it, it, it's drummed into you at an early age. You have to be good, whether it's yeah. one of your 80-year-old aunts hitting you with a wooden spoon saying, make those meatballs the right <laughs> way, or... Someone saying, put a little more of this, or taste that sauce, or do whatever it takes. Constantly trying to be the best. And and the feedback from your clientele? Oh, loving it. Loving, loving it. it. Loving it. I've, I've had four restaurants, and they all went over very, very well. Uh, three of them were in Wellington, one of them was in Juneau Beach. And we always had lines, lots and lots okay. of lines. Okay. All right, wow. So what other parts, you talked about different parts of the country that you've had restaurants or been involved in the restaurant business. You mentioned Lake Tahoe I, I, earlier. I was coming out of college and I worked for a receivership company. And they would send me to different places to turn failing concepts around. 
I had a 900-seat club in Lake Tahoe with a 200-seat restaurant on the side. It was, it was a simple turnaround. The owner was coming in and helping himself to the cash register. So as soon as I stopped him from enjoying himself at the cash register, the place took in a okay. tremendous amount of wow. money. Wow. It wasn't due to lack of business. It would yeah. be packed morning, noon, and night. Wow. But Tahoe has two big seasons, yes. the summer season and the winter season. I had it for four months in the summer season, and there would be a thousand people on our sun decks every day. That's fantastic. It was it was so much fun. You know, and it is a fun business to be in, but like you just indicated, you also have to have a level business head about you to stay in business so that you can continue. It's one of the biggest challenges in the restaurant business mm -hmm. is staying alert enough to make sure the money gets to the bank. Yes. It's easy to get caught up in the party. Right, right. If you're good, everybody is having a great time uh -huh. and you want to have a great time with them. Yeah. And it's easy to forget that you're working <laughs> and they're paying you and you need to just take care of business first and then enjoy yourself. That's right, yeah. Keeping it real, right? Keeping it real. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure talking with you. It just seems that you've created a legacy over time with all your involvement in the restaurant business in your life. And I see that you live in a beautiful area now here in Florida. And, um, South Florida is beautiful. It really is. It's booming. The people are nice. I have lived in many parts of the country, and South Florida is... You love it here? I love it here. Yeah, awesome. Well, it's very nice to spend some time to get to know you, and I appreciate you taking some Thank time you to very share much. your story with us. Nice Thank speaking you. with you. Thank you. Nice speaking with you, too.